Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the new weapons that got introduced in Season of the Arrivals. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Aside from one weapon, all of these are fire as fuck. I highly suggest you guys go for these weapons. They're really good. With all that being said, let's get right into the first weapon, which is gonna be False Promises. This one is gonna be one of my favorite weapons in, in, the, in the season. Aside from maybe one other or two other, it's so hard to pick a favorite weapon in this season considering they're all great. But let's look at the first row of perks that you can get. So Overflow, Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Subsistence, Dynamic Sway Reduction, Underdog, Threat Detector for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Swashbuckler, Unrelenting, Rampage, Surrounded, Sympathetic Arsenal, Zen Moment, and Eye of the Storm. So real quick, let me explain some of the new perks that got introduced in this season. Killing Wind is basically Final Blows grants increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. Sympathetic Arsenal is reloading after a final blow also reloads stowed weapons. And the last one, Unrelenting, rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one. So, with that being said, what do I think is the god roll? That's what's so beautiful about this season is the fact that I don't know. There's so many good rolls on this weapon alone that it just makes my head just go everywhere. So if you guys want to know like an example, like the weapon that I have currently should be overflow with rampage. That's my god roll. Mostly because I have a, I have a build where I never reload a weapon if I have overflow. And obviously this is this is great. Rampage, I'm doing more damage. You could do swashbuckler, but for me, I like to pair subsistence with swashbuckler. So that's that's the combination I like to do with that one. But you also have feeding frenzy, you have dynamic spray reduction, shit, killing wind as well is a really good option. So real quick, I'm just gonna throw you a few ideas of like immediately what I see you could do so you could do overflow with swashbuckler rampage surrounded maybe or unrelenting killing wind you can do killing wind and any of the ones i just said or killing wind and sympathetic arsenal as well would be a pretty good one for pvp feeding frenzy you can do with everything i just said subsistence with swashbuckler Dynamic Sway Reduction with Zen Moment if you want that really just laser beam auto rifle. But what I would be looking for specifically would be Overflow with Rampage, Subsistence with Swashbuckler, Dynamic Sway Reduction with Zen Moment, and then Killing Wind with Sympathetic Arsenal most likely. Those would probably be pro probably one of some of the best perks you could choose from. But what, what's even crazier is that in the season pass, if I remember correctly, there is one level where it gives you a second perk option for each of the weapons. So essentially, you could be looking at Overflow with Rampage or Unrelenting, which would probably be the God God role for that specific role. Because then, let's say you're doing a Nightfall and you notice that you're dying a lot more because everything hurts more. You can put a Relenting to get that health reboot, uh, health boost whenever you need it. You could do sw Subsistence with Swashbuckler or Sympathetic Arsenal. I'm literally just, there's so many things you can do with this. It's so fucking wild. All right, PvE. The, the role I will go for is obviously Overflow with Rampage. That's the role I would go for for PvP. Specifically, this would be for my Titan. It would be Subsistence with Swashbuckler. If I'm looking to be extra, just extra, I would go Killing Wind with Sympathetic Arsenal. That would probably be a really nice god roll for me. That's pretty much it for this weapon. Let's go on to the next one. So the next one's gonna be Cold Denial. This is a pulse rifle and it has some nutty rolls as well. Let's look at them. First row, we're gonna be looking at Feeding Frenzy, Killing Wind, Zen Moment, Pulse Monitor, Grave Robber, and Threat Detector for the first row. For the second row, we're gonna be looking at Swashbuckler, Unrelenting, Multi-Kill Clip, Sympathetic Arsenal, Eye of the Storm, and Headseeker. So, immediately, 
for PvP, PvE, whatever. For my Titan, I would do Grave Robber and Swashbuckler, obviously. Now, if you guys don't know, I like to punch a lot with my Titan. Obviously, they have a lot of punch, punchy things. So, Swashbuckler immediately get that five stack. But if I kill someone when my ammo's low, Grave Robber immediately gives me some ammo back. That's why I would com combine it. For my Hunter, I went with Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clip. But in hindsight, I should have gone for Killing Wind and Multi-Kill Clip. Considering that Feeding Frenzy is not the best in this sandbox, only because you have to get it up to five or four stacks for it to be really noticeable. At two or three, it's just... Actually, at three, you can see it, but it's still just very weak, in my opinion. So, for me, I would just rather go with Killing Wind, get that, get the, get a kill, and proc mobility, range, and handling. Bro. No contest. Get Killing Wind with multi kill clip. For PV, for PVP, that would pre probably be my god roll. Like Killing Wind with multi kill clip would probably be the god roll for me. Multi uh, feeding frenzy in PVP just is not. It does not hit the same anymore. So yeah, for me, Killing Wind with multi kill clip. You could do sympathetic arsenal as well. I will say that Head Seeker has gotten a lot of play now because if i remember correctly high impact frames for pulse rifles got a buff so a lot of people have been using head seeker with it and have been promising up and down that it's great i personally do not fuck with head seeker i think it's a dumb perk but i'm just letting you know because maybe you want to use it but if you ask me what would be the god roll for you i'd say killing wind and multi-kill clip feeding frenzy multi-kill clip is still a good option uh, Grave Robber and Swashbuckler if you like to punch a lot and then Head Seeker with most likely either Killing Wind or Zen Moment would be a good one for the people who want Head Seeker specifically. So that's it for the Pulse Rifle. I love this weapon. This is actually one of my favorite weapons if not the my favorite. It's a lot of fun and I'm going to be trying to farm for the Killing Wind and Multi-Kill Clip because if you, as you guys can see I have Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clips so that made me a little sad. But yeah, on to the next weapon, which is going to be Whispering Slab. It is a bow, a really big chonky bow. This shit's chonk as fuck, man. So, let's look at the first perks. Archer's Tempo, Killing Wind, Quick Draw, Firmly Planted, Hip Fire Grip, and Range Finder for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Vorpal Weapon, Demolitionist, Swashbuckler, Opening Shot, Sympathetic Arsenal, and Unrelenting. So, for me... There's a lot of roles people could go for. The one that I ended up getting is firmly planted and opening shot, which is I, which is a perk rotation that I know that like Astacross talked about, and I haven't used it. I just got it like an hour ago, and I'm doing the video obviously, so I haven't been using it. But I'm really excited to use that mostly because I want to see how accurate it is. If it was me, if it was up to me, and I was choosing like what I really wanted, like what optimally I would want to use. I would probably end up using like maybe Archer's Tempo with Swashbuckler. Mostly because I want to see if the five stacks of Swashbuckler could instantly kill someone. If it could, that would be gross. It'd probably leave them like a one shot. So I highly doubt it would like just immediately kill someone. But on the off chance that it does, that'd be pretty fucking gross. And then now that I really think about it, if it does one shot, which I highly doubt... I would probably do Killing Wind with Opening Shot or Firmly Planted with Swashbuckler if, I rem if I'm like really thinking about it. So PvP would probably be Firmly Planted, Quick Draw, or Killing Wind with Opening Shot, hands down. And for PvE, mm, Killing Wind with Vorpal Weapon, Killing Wind with Unrelenting, nah, that's not a good roll actually. Killing Wind with Vorpal actually would probably be the one that a lot of people go for. Yeah, I, I like this I, I like this weapon a lot, but I just don't know what I would like to use in PvP or PvE. PvE I really don't like to tend to use to, uh, bows just because they're kind of weak in my opinion. But they're a lot of fun. And like I said, I'm definitely going to be testing out the firmly planted and opening shot considering that my masterwork is is accuracy i think it's called 
So yeah, I'm going to be super excited to use that later on today. So the next run is going to be Hollow Words. This is the one that I actually do not give a shit about, but I make it no secret that I don't like fusion rifles. I just, I don't fuck with them. So if you like fusion rifles, heads up, the, this has some pretty good rolls. So first row we're going to be looking at is Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Lead from Gold, Slideways, Quick Draw, and Under Pressure for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Vorpal Weapon, Unrelenting, Disruption Break, Surrounded, Sympathetic Arsenal, and Backup Plan. So if you asked me, Tony, what would be your god roll for PvE? It would most likely be Lead from Gold and Vorpal Weapon, to be quite honest. I have that roll on pretty much all my shotguns that are PvE, and it's gross. You, the amount of ammo you can get from Lead from Gold, not only that, but if you put like heavy, like heavy ammo finder on like everything you do, you're only picking up heavy, which means you can liberally use your your secondary and your heavy. It this this could get really gross if you really try to like to work around lead from gold that would be my pve god roll for pvp i'd probably do maybe slideways <laughs> slide with, with with vorpal would probably be the pvp god roll or killing wind with a vorpal weapon i just don't see much with unrelenting for pvp for pve i can see the benefit uh disruption break Although nice, I don't see don't see a lot of people using it considering that this boosts kinetic damage and you can't have two soup well you can have two specials, but I mean that's a specific like that's a specific build that people usually go for, so I can see that. Uh surrounded, nah, just no. So yeah, for me PvP would probably be killing wind with Vorpal Weapon. Or slideways with a uh, Vorpal Weapon. Or Quick Draw with Vorpal Weapon. PvE, Lead from Gold and Vorpal Weapon. Hands down, you cannot find me on that. So, that's pretty much it for the Fusion Rifle. Like I said, not a big fan of Fusion Rifles. Never have been. Probably never will be. Next two weapons are, hands down, some of the most fun weapons in the game. So, the first, the first of the swords we're going to be talking about is Temptation's Hook which is basically bolt caster from destiny one if you guys don't know uh bolt caster was an exotic sword which basically threw it like it basically does what this weapon does i'm gonna have the animation down in the video because i want to show you guys the animation itself and obviously there's a few god rolls you can go for i think these two swords share the same god roll which every sword technically shares the same god roll you guys will know what i'm talking about in a minute but First row is going to be Tireless Blade, Relentless Strikes, and Energy Transfer. The neck, the last one is going to be Vorpal Weapon, Surrounded, Whirlwind Blade, On Guard, and Flash Counter. So obviously, the God Roll, was, it's probably going to be like Relentless Strike with Whirlwind Blade, obviously. Like for, for PvE, that's the God Roll, like hands down. I mean, for PvP, you could use this weapon. My, my only gripe with it is that the like the actual like casting of the like the thing it takes all of your sword ammo so i wouldn't recommend it unless you see a lot of people grouped up but i mean if you're using a sword in pvp then i mean most people are going to think you're a scumbag so that would probably be the god roll i love this weapon it's great unfortunately the next sword is probably like it's big brother it's so it's so much better like it, me personally like i said i love this weapon the animation the actual way that it does the lightning thing it's cool as fuck don't get me wrong it's just that the other one's fucking chonk so it's gonna be falling guillotine this one is the one that is essentially dark drinker if you guys don't know obviously from destiny one this one is a meaty fuck face it's so good guys i cannot 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 guarantee that this shit is gonna be your favorite weapon i can guarantee that shit because it's just a lot of fun so obviously the first row is gonna be tireless wind or tireless blade relentless strikes energy transfer for the first row for the second row is gonna be surrounded whirlwind blade counter attack or yeah counter attack and on guard Obviously, Relentless Strike with Whirlwind Blade is going to be the god roll. Obviously, I have both these god rolls. They're amazing. But if you want to like, ask my opinion on it, I think 
Temptations Hook, you could get away with Tireless Blade, which you guys don't know, Tireless Blade is sword ammo granted for every other powered sword kill. Now, I say that because you could keep, like, after, after you do your first initial heavy attack, you'll have the, like, the projectile hit something and then it stays for a while doing extra damage. But then you can just keep throwing it out over and over and over. So what you could do is just keep killing people, like keep killing like ads or something with the heavy and the heavy doesn't take as much if it's not powered. So essentially you could be getting ammo. I don't know how much the ammo is, but if it's a lot of ammo, like let's say it gives you two or three ammo per kill or per like every kill, then you could essentially have infinite ammo again if if it's just like one it's not gonna be that crazy but i could see that being viable for some people for this falling guillotine don't even go for the tireless blade go for 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 relentless strike because with whirlwind blade it just makes sense you're gonna be doing more damage the more you hit something but you'll also be getting ammo back and then once you have the the sword energy up all the way then you do your your uh, heavy attack which is basically dark drinker which is awesome but they actually do a really cool animation for it which is awesome again a lot of these weapons are great a lot of these weapons are fucking god tier and if you guys are gonna like if you guys are gonna attack me like oh but dude what's the or not attack me but just attack the game about the oh what's the point sun settings becoming a thing la la la, la. i have almost not if all of not all the god rolls for this weapon and let me tell you i'm not a youtuber i am not a fucking streamer i mean i i am a youtuber but like i don't have the amount of subscribers that like every like other content creators have i have a job and i got all these god rolls it's literally like this season has been so easy all you have to do is make sure you get the gun you want okay i want this okay cool yeah i'm gonna do this one okay cool boop and then you get it or you don't you have two like you have 50 50 of getting the weapon you want and then going for the role that you want i don't know man this season is really good for uh loot accusation and if you're gonna like just bitch about oh sunsetting it's, it's like dude i get it i really do but does that kill the game for me not really it really pisses me off sure but at the end of the day, these are some of the dopest weapons we've had in a while. Fucking hell. Temptation Hook and Falling Guillotine are literally exotics from Destiny 1. How can you fight me on this? What the fuck? So, I, like, I get it, guys. I get that weapon sunsetting sucks. I mean, you guys can, if you guys saw my other videos, I'm literally like, I don't like this. I get it, but I don't like it. But at the same time, some of these weapons are great. And I'm excited. And we, we'll have a year. So... I don't know, man. Let me know in the in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for the constant support, and I will see you guys later.